everyone, welcome to Stay Fit With Joy and another workout, another day where we're gonna utilize our slippery floor for a couple of our exercises today. So you wanna have either a wood surface, a tile surface, a pair of socks, two hand towels that you can put underneath your feet, or if you do not have that slippery surface in your house, you're going to use the rug and two paper plates that you'll put your feet on. Make sure you keep your sneakers on if you're using the paper plates so that your feet will grip into those plates, okay? I'm gonna show you the two exercises that we're gonna to do today, 30 seconds each, okay? So we're gonna get into position on all fours, step back into a plank, and you're gonna slide your legs out so they start in a wide position. We, yesterday we did the out and in, so we kind of uh, got into this position a little bit, but we're gonna start and we're gonna stay in this wide stance in that plank position. First exercise, one at a time, you're gonna slide that foot up and outside the hand, and then you're gonna do that for the other side. What you wanna make sure you're not doing here is when you pull in, you don't want those hips to come up. Those hips really have to stay in place. That is what's making that core work. So that's your first exercise there. You come down, we have 10 seconds, just a quick stretch, back up on all fours, back up into the plank, slide out into position, and the second exercise, both knees come in. Now this one's a little bit difficult. You may not be able to come in as far. It might just be a very small little push. Okay, if you have flexibility in those hips to come in further, go for it. But again, you don't want those hips coming up. We are really trying to keep them down, in position, locked in position, and using the hips as well as the core to make that movement happen. Okay, so I'm gonna get that clock started. We're gonna get in position and get ready for those two exercises. So getting in position, start to step up and slide the legs out one at a time. Again, keeping that leg outside of your hands. So you, these are real hip openers. You're gonna feel those hips kind of need to be stretched out in this position. So it's a good work for flexibility as well as working the hip joint, the hip muscles, and that core strength, as well as the upper body strength that's gotta hold you in place. Breathe as you move. Three, two, one. Good, come down. Take a little bit of a stretch to so come back up strong for that second exercise. Start to come up into your plank position. Take the legs out wide, and now both of those knees slide in, and they push back out in together, and push back out, trying to keep those hips in place where they are, not popping those hips up as you come in. So you're gonna really feel that in those hip flexors, in the front part of those hips and then press and slide those feet back. Remember, we stay in contact with the floor the whole time, toes are on that ground. It's sliding, not stepping or hopping. Three, two, Get one, one more in and relax. Good, you got a couple seconds here. Wait for that countdown. Three, two, one. And bring it up. Great job, guys. Don't forget to meet me once again tomorrow for two more exercises, 30 seconds each.